Today I just plan to cover the topic exam code AZ104 Microsoft Azure Ad Admin Step. Okay. Uh, the topic if included all the related to the exam uh, content AZ104, the series of topics. So each part I will upload on my YouTube channel. Okay. So first we need to cover for administrator identity. So I just uh, cover for this uh, module. Azure administrator identity the for configure Azure Active Directory configure user and group account and allow one managing Azure Active Directory and identity so first we will go for configure Azure Active Directory so I just uh, cover the topic what is Azure Active Directory what is the difference between Azure Active Directory and on premises Active Directory so this topic will be discussed around this subject okay so we will go for the next topic next uh, subject configure Azure Active Directory uh, so describe Azure Active Directory benefit and features Com uh, comparison of ADDS Azure Active Directory uh, describe Azure AD concept and select Azure AD edition implement Azure AD device identity implement self-service password reset and summary analysis okay so I will cover this topic and we will follow the topic in the next slides okay so what is Azure Active Directory uh, you already uh, familiar with Active Directory okay so Azure Active Directory is a cloud-based identity and access management service Azure AD enable you to employ access to external resources such as Microsoft 365 the Azure portal and thousands of other SaaS applications Azure Active Directory also help them access internal resources like apps or your corporate internet and any cloud apps developed for your organ own organization so Azure Active Directory is cloud-based identity assessment management service okay so you I think you can understand what is Azure Active Directory so I will just uh, go for I will just show the demos okay so, so we will go for next slide uh, the description of Azure Active Directory benefit and features so I already told Azure is a cloud-based uh, suit for identity management capability that meet enable you the secure manage access to the Azure service and other source for your user provide the application management authentication device management and hybrid identity so this is the structure uh, the small diagram you see in the window window service active directory Azure Active Directory. So Azure Windows Server Active Directory is on-premises Active Directory is used authentication using Kerberos and NPM and the same process user groups and you can create the organization unit and oh you like this on premise So Azure Active Directory is like authentication using SAML and Auth and OpenID and the Blitz Federation and you can access the cloud application like Office 365, Azure Microsoft Azure resources and Azure apps. So this you uh, the, this provided with Azure Active Directory. So okay, so we will go for the next topic. Who who use the Azure AD? So IT admin uses Azure using Azure AD and app developer Microsoft 365 Azure Microsoft 365 service and dynamic CRM online subscribe. Okay. Describe Azure AD concept. So what's the concept are available for the Azure AD? So Azure AD have included the concept identity, accounting, Azure AD account, Azure AD tenant directory and Azure search. So we will cover for this identity. What is identity? An object that can be authenticated. So a, any object that can be authenticated is called as identity and account and identity that has associated with it. Uh, account the identity that has associated that data has associated with it. So identity a which data is associated with is called as account okay Azure AD account an identity created through Azure AD or another Microsoft's cloud server example the Azure AD account will be automatically created if you using office 365 or any Microsoft cloud service automatically create one free Azure AD account okay so I will show you the in the portal okay Azure AD tenant or directory tenant a dedicated and trusted instance of Azure AD. A tenant is automatically created when your organization sign up for Microsoft Cloud Service subscription. See the dedicated and trusted instance of Azure AD. And tenant is automatically created. I told you before the tenant is automatically created when you make any service from the 
Microsoft uh, Office 365 portal or like a micro Microsoft related to cloud application. Okay. Addition instance of Azure AD can be created. Azure AD is understand product provides identity service. The term TNN means single instance of Azure AD represented a single organization. The term TNN and directory are often used to interchangeable. You can interchangeable for you can make many TNN in your uh, Azure portal. So I will show you how do you can make this one. Okay. So we, an Azure subscription is pay as go. User pay as pay of Azure cloud service. Okay. So next compare uh, Active Directory domain service to Azure Active Directory. Okay. Azure AD is primarily an identity solution and designed for HTTP and HTTPS communication hyper protocol and hyper test security protocol. Okay. Uh, query using REST API over HTTP and HTTPS and instead of LDAP. Uh, in uh, on-premise AD is using LDAP, uh, like with directory company uh, service. And in uh, in uh, our Azure AD is using HTTPS and HTTP query service and REST API, okay. Use HTTP and HTTP protocols such as SAML, OpenAI, WS Federation, OpenID Connect for authentication instead of Kerberos. So Kerberos is using in the on-premises uh, in Azure AD, they are using like a Open ID Connect and authentication service and exam. Okay, include federation service and many third party services such as Facebook, like this one. Uh, yeah, it's include federation service, many third party services. They are also connected with this. Azure AD user can group or create a flash structure, and there are no organization unit for group policy object. So uh, you can understand the compare theory, okay? So we will go for what what are the Azure AD license? So uh, what the the comparison of the license? What the uh, Azure Active Directory free license? I told you free license you get you you can subscribe any related to the Azure uh, Microsoft uh, Cloud service related product you get one free account. So provide a user and give money on premise directory single a basic report self service password in cloud service single sign Azure Microsoft or many. Uh, popular SaaS application. So Azure Active Directory Premium P1 and P1 is another premium service. You need to purchase this one. Uh, also, you can get E3, I think E5 on the Office 360 license available. Okay. Additional feature free one also let you hybrid user. Hybrid means on premises and cloud based concept. Okay. Both on premises and cloud based. It also support advanced administration such as dynamic group, self service group management, Microsoft identity management, cloud right back capable. Uh, pass. Uh, password uh, right back means you can synchronize with your own premises uh, user to in the cloud Azure Active Directory. So anyway, you will be changing the password is right back to the on on premises your account. Azure Active Directory Premium P2 service uh, in addition free PV feature. So also another uh, license okay and also available for pay as you go service okay from the Azure service. Okay. So select Azure Active Directory editions. Uh, I told you before Microsoft 365 is free and this you will automatically get and the premium and premium to you need to purchase okay directly objective uh, thousand and uh, no object limit in the Microsoft 365 premium one and premium two also no given single sign in unlimited okay both sides and core identity access uh, both are not available B2B collaboration identity access O3 premium features hybrid identity advanced group access condition access identity okay so we will go for next configure Azure AD uh, device identity so Azure AD registration registered device Azure AD joint device and I Azure AD joint device so registered device you you have the Microsoft app and you can log in with your Microsoft app for Azure registered so support and bring your own device and register device and using Microsoft account attached to an Azure AD account granted access service control using mobile device management MDMA okay OS Windows 10 and iOS Android X. Okay. Azure AD joint device means organizes basic device. You need to organization need the license. Okay. So intent or cloud first cloud or only organization. Organization only device. Join only Azure AD organization account required. Can use condition access policy. Can use okay. OS Windows 10 plus device. Okay. And hybrid is both side the on premises and cloud based. Use we have been 32 apps and deployed this device using actual directory machine authentication you want to continue to use group policy and manage your device you want to use existing email solution deploy the service OS windows 7 plus device will be support okay portal 
So I will cover uh, Azure Active Directory from here. So how do we can get the Azure Active Directory? So go for here. You will just go for here and you can see here Azure Active Directory. So just click here Azure Active Directory. After that you can see your tenant and everything. Okay, username, default directory, tenant ID and user1 and group1. Primary domain is like this. Okay. And also you can make your own team. So how to we can do this? Just click this manage and team. It. Okay. Then you just click create and your own team. And you need to make your own team. And just click create. Then here two options Azure Active Directory and Azure Active B2C. Okay. So just uh, go for Azure Active Directory. Azure B2C you already they mentioned Azure Active Directory and Azure Active Directory B2C enable user to access the application published by your organization and share same business administration experience okay so just to go for next and here you need to add your organization name whatever the name example apple.com or apple like this one and I just put my apple apple.com like this one whatever you need to just do so then they will create for your uh, next just click next and repeat they will create for your team so I have already created so I just uh, leave this one so I just go for our team now okay so here I have already one defect and this is when I make the Azure portal they automatically the Microsoft make so this is my customized team okay so uh, now you understand so next topic I will cover for uh, I just go for the user and how to we can add customized domain okay just click here. I will show you something. So go to your Azure Active Directory. And here you see the user. Just click the user. Okay. Then here just create one new user. Example, I will create new user. And here the user principle is like, uh, see, this is the user principle. Example, uh, Tommy, Tommy, like this one. So here we need to add a custom domain. So you have the company, you have the custom domain. like your company is like name uh, Google, your company is like uh, Microsoft, your company is like any company name. So I will show you how to we can add for the custom domain. So we will go for again the, our Azure uh, Active Directory. Okay, this one I will leave now. Okay, one second. So here you can see your custom domain. Just click the custom domain name. After that, you just, I am already created one custom domain. So I just delete this one. So I don't want, I just make again, I just delete, so, we don't want this one. so I just create add custom domain, uh, .com. so just add domain, so you just get the txt record, just to copy your txt record in your DNS, the domain DNS, if you, you wear your uh, domain is like uh, GoDaddy or any uh, domain you are where you are hosting, so, <coughs> sorry. So just to put there your uh, uh, details for that uh, directory details, okay? So just to wait for this one. After they will uh, create, just to refresh this one. Okay, you need to get to one uh, TXT record. So just to copy this DST record in your uh, DNS, okay? So I just to copy my DNS. Yes, I just to go for my host record txt okay just I just go here and I will add at value no space okay then go for your portal and then destination point address I just to copy for here and it take little time to complete okay. I just save after you save this one, uh, just to wait for the verification. Okay, so this your record is now saved. Okay? So just to go for Azure portal. Okay, then here you need to click verify. But uh, in my point, this take little time. So I just click this one verification. Okay, so still, yeah. See our domain is verified. So see our custom domain is complete. So you can make it primary, then just to click, are you sure? Okay. Then just to click it, make a primary. So go to your directory. So 
before resource and dot on this is your domain name and this one resource skill is dot com your domain so you now you add the custom domain so i just go for home i just show you so the active directory and we need to make one user now so i just create one create a new user see now your user will be changed to resourceskill.com so you can make like a resourceskill.com okay so now before you see the difference before this one and now so we will add our first time on premises domain so i think uh, normal things you understand as your active directory and how to we will add for custom domain so next is topic we will cover for creating users and a group and dynamics okay the part two thank you for if everyone like my video just to share my video and subscribe my channel thank you so much